Hello everybody, this is Tazlon. Welcome aboard the Train of Thought, where we look at various concepts and transport fever and kick the bull off the tracks. You will have nothing to beef about because we will not steer you wrong. Okay, so now we're going to check the same situation, flat terrain, with 10 cargo cars and we'll start off with a single engine and 10 cars. Really don't expect this one to do as well because the um, it's just too much load. <clears throat> you saw that the train was taking a longer time to accelerate to full speed with the 8s. So I'm just thinking this is going to be a bit too much for the engine here but we will try it just to make sure that we're right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's going to start with three thousand seven hundred million to pay off. Line two. Back in a few. As expected, uh, putting those two extra cars on that single engine is degrading its performance it's still not doing bad it's paid off multiple loans but it's not doing anywhere as good as it did with only eight cars and um, if I do 12 I don't even think I'll include it in the simulation because I know it's not going to do well at all right now it's down to 1.7 million and We'll have to wait to see if it gets in the loan paid off. Watch this. It's all the way up almost to this forest at the north end of the route before it gets up to top speed. And you can see as it comes back down how long it's going to take to reach 25 miles an hour. Just too much weight for the train. It's still staying in the 20s. It's not as bad as the the eight cars in single engine did on the on the um, elevated the terrain change scenario that we ran before this, but I don't think it's going to be competitive at all with the double engine simulations. And see here, it it hit it gets up to like 19 decently fast but then it just has a hard time increasing speed beyond that going past the halfway point in the route and it's only up to 22 right now slowly picking up speed And 25 finally, three quarters of the way into the leg, it reaches top speed, and that's um, just not getting speed fast enough, and that's going to cost it financially. So it may get another loan paid off here. Down to 1.2 but still well behind how it did with uh, with two less cars. And now it has a year to go, so basically has one lap left.
I'm up to 80%, 87% on Visalia on the um, demand for fuel. So I'm debating if I may not, maybe I'll exceed the limit at 12 cars and I'll just have to watch. I'll take a look at the town and see if I can just change my freight station a little bit. But I really don't think, I think I have the, the optimal spot, spot to begin with. And while I was running these, I had the thought that, you know, I'm doing the the single engine with six, the single engine with eight, and the single engine with, with ten. And we saw performance drop off from six to eight, and then again from eight to ten. So either six or seven cars is ideal, at least for this track on flat terrain. But as I get up to... Uh, like for example, it, when I do the double train or the twin train here, they will each have five cars. So you can kind of look at it individually and say, on this upcoming test, if you split it in half, you'd have a you'd have the five car, and then we have the six and the eight and the ten. Um, if I went up to fourteen, I'd have a look at trains with seven cars, but I just don't think I have the demand to run that and, it, and it, the production will shut down a little bit. But so what I think I'm going to do I'm trying to get this right at the end of the year here. What I think I'm going to do is um, run these tens, finish those out, and then look at the data, um, work on building a map for phase two on the already established routes under a couple different scenarios. And when I'm done with all that, then I'm going to come back and do a separate test just on on a single train and look at um, five car, six car, seven car, eight car on basically a track like this to where I'll be able to compare and just see which at what point does that starter engine start to um, go into diminishing returns because we know from six to eight it does but I don't know whether the ideal is six or seven either six or seven is producing the best results and um, heck, it could even be five. So I'll probably go five, six, seven, and eight in a test after I get done with this great engine configuration test. And I'll just look at it in startup mode. So people starting out the game will know exactly on flat terrain what, what's the best number of engines to use. Um, because we've already seen what, what double engines are best, but you have to have the demand in town. If the demand is big enough to, to run the increased cargo, we're pretty much determining what setup's best now, but um, if you have one of those smaller starter towns to where you don't, you can't bring in a lot of cargo, then which single engine train is really ideal? And I think I'll look at that after I get done looking at all this, because I don't want to keep getting sidetracked into other things. I want to stick to what I I set out to do in the beginning. So next up is going to be the double with ten cars. Time for the double weights. Excuse me, double ten. It showed a good improvement from going from six to eight. And I'm wondering if that's going to continue on to the tens. I'm kind of thinking it is. 
I think it actually may keep improving all the way at least up to the twelves, but I don't know if it can handle that much demand in the town I have set up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. back in 18 years. Okay, the, the double 10 is just blowing away everybody so far. He has paid off all his loans. He's now into just generating profit. So far this is, is the best configuration that we've tested, but the twin fives are still to come. And I'm really thinking they're going to perform just a little bit better due to that little heads, that little kicker they get by having that second train come out with product already waiting for it. He's been paying, once he's got full cargo capacity, which took several years multiple years um, he's been paying off a loan at least once every other year sometimes two years in a row he's paid off a loan and then he waits he skips a year and then pays off a loan again so um, very productive so far notwithstanding what happens with the twin five so far he's easily been the best performer And this is all with a town that, right now, has a demand of 71. So something to think about when you're starting out. It's it's not that hard. You get the towns in the, like, 220 people on up. And you can find this kind of demand in starter towns fairly, fairly regularly. At least one to three of them on every map. Usually even more than that. So if you can find a route a viable starter route close to them really consider taking out a couple extra loans and putting these double engines and a bunch of cars on them or, or two single engines with four or five cars apiece on them because you're seeing that it generates more income than the um, shorter trains with with single with single engines the way the more traditional approach I don't think well he won't you know we still have a year he still has a year to generate more money. And it's like I said before this test, I never, I never considered a starter route with double engines. But unless your town's really small, what we're seeing indicates that it, it's probably better to go with double engines at the start because it's more profitable. This is definitely going to change the way I play the game when I'm starting out on hard mode. And he's going to get to drop off his crude and take a a full load of fuel back here. So really a, a, a big improvement over the um, the double eight and it performed pretty strong but this guy's just wow I had no idea this is even <laughs> a good way to go but it certainly appears to be
he's going to end up, I guess, in the 600,000 realm. Yep. Only. He'll be right around 600,000, I think. And this just continues to be an eye-opening experience for me. I'm glad I decided to do this. Because it's making me seriously reconsider how I start a game. Stop, stop. Ran a couple of days too late. 592. I may go back and... Um, and look at this on film just to see what the exact amount was on January 1st and if a uh, truck came in in those nine days I'll readjust it so the amount that you see here the $592 may be a little bit different when I do the uh, the final results screen just so you know I didn't stop it right at January 1st I stopped it at January 9th so I will go back in and just check what the score was on January 1st and I'm thinking let's see if a couple trucks came in it'll probably it potentially could be four to six thousand dollars less than what it is here so if you notice a discrepancy that's why the number I post in the final results will be the exact number that we saw on January 1st and now it's time to move on to the twin fives and see if they're going to be even stronger than this guy. This guy certainly put forth a powerful effort. And now time to run the twin fives, two trains apiece with five cargo cars and a single engine. They won the last round of simulations with four cargo cars apiece, so I'm kind of thinking they will do the same thing here because they have that startup advantage on their second train coming out on the track with it being able to pick up a little bit product right from the get-go it seems to get the whole system up and running just a little bit quicker one two three four five put him out and then Whoops, two, three, four. He starts off with that extra loan, same as he had has every other scenario that we've run. So let's get this going and we'll get him out on the track as this guy comes down here, about right here. And as I've said, I, th I think we're going to find out that this advantage on the initial track for this longer route and flat terrain is going to completely disappear for the, uh, for the twin short trains when we move forward and use diesels on, on older, bigger, established lines to where there's already product out there to pick up. I don't think we'll see that initial advantage. And I think if on the tracks where there's a lot of other trains sharing the rail, my guess, my theory is that the twin engines will run into more difficulty than the single long train will. But that's why we run tests to find out if theories work or not. Okay, back in 18. Well, the, the Twin 4s won the last round of simulations and it looks like the Twin 5s are going to do the same. They appear to be in the lead right now. 
they're already in the positive and they've already paid off all their loans so they appear to be about 300,000 ahead of the uh, of the double where the double 10 was right here and I just can't help but think it's that that boost they get from having product already at the oil well and the second train comes out that just translates into a a shorter time to get the route up and full of cargo because they've had to pay off an extra 500,000 in loans and they just prime the pump a little bit quicker and that allows them to to get to this the the full amount of cargo a little bit faster which over the life of these 20 years the length of these 20 years it lets them generate a little bit more money and so if it keeps going the way I think it is they're going to be the winner here too they will have won the last two simulations now what I'm also thinking is this is we're going to see this occur in the starter scenarios where there were loans involved and where we were just establishing the freight line but when we switch to phase two and, and we're doing simulations where there's already cargo out on the line and, and we're upgrading trains into like the double engine with 14 cars and twin engines with um, with seven with seven cars and single engines where products already out in the line they're going to lose that advantage and um, and then when you consider the fact that there's going to be other trains on the track that they have to interact with I'm not certain we're going to see the the twin trains do as well over there but I've been surprised at some of the stuff I'm seeing here so maybe I'll be surprised at what I learn when I do that too He's just flat out rocking right now. Good God. Just think if you had a starter route where you had one town and another town sitting there waiting for service. And man, you come out of the first 10 years. You already have double track. You have another town waiting to gin up. You're completely loan free and he's man, he's gonna be like a million dollars in the bank. So that completely pay for setting up your second town and adding cars to both of these guys and providing service to both towns. A year to go, he's got half a million. And he's easily getting down and back. Wow. Unlike the other simulations where the different twin engines simulations ended up being close, I don't think this is going to be close at all. He's just running away with this. I wish Vasalia was just a little bit bigger. I don't know... I may run it just to see what happens to see if I can put two more two more cars on and and um, see if 12 car versions can not exceed the demand for Vesalia because I'm really interested it is if I add two more cars is it isn't even going to improve then and my thought was when um, when we did the first simulation here that single engine with six cars won. So having two engines out there with six cars plus the little bonus you get for starting, I think 12s may, 12 cargo cars may prove to be the best overall. But I don't know if the Salia can handle it. So I think I'm going to run that just to see if I don't ex if I don't exceed their demand then it'll be legitimate but if I exceed their demand then it messes up the test so it's going to be close a couple months to go he may come in over a million dollars or very close to it wow nope 
maintenance costs will take them take them back down below a million but still wow I didn't expect this and then you have the added advantage of you already have double track if you want to work this line harder that the expense of the double tracks already been paid off He's not going to get back. No way. 973. That's the the road I grew up on out in the country in Pennsylvania when I grew up. State Highway 973. Okay, I don't want to go too far again like last time. eight hundred and seventy nine in the green by far the best performance we've seen so far wow so um, I'm going to see if I can run just the double engines with twelve cargo cars if that will exceed Visaya's demand and uh, if it doesn't I'll show you how it plays out if it does I just tell you that it does without showing you what happened because once I exceed the demand and I start stockpiling without any place to go to it um, kinda invalidates the test and if I go up here I'll show you there's not really another town close to here and even if I would just um like offload some at Milwaukee or something that that messes up everything I'm trying to do so this is all going to be contingent on whether Visalia can soak up the two more cars of cargo I'm kind of thinking it's it's not going to quite handle it but we'll, we will see and um, if it does then we'll lump it all together and if it doesn't then I'll come back and show you all the final numbers from from this round of simulations and uh, we'll move on to later in the game scenario with um with diesels and big long lines with lots of cars <laughs> 